In this video, we'll learn about inductive reasoning. Inductive reasoning is one of the two primary types of reasoning that you use in geometry. Inductive reasoning is making a conclusion based on examples or observations or a pattern. So making a conclusion based on patterns. So the easiest way to understand inductive reasoning is to actually look an at an example. So suppose we had this sequence of numbers here, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and it kept going on and on. And the question is, what is the 19th term in the pattern? So in order to figure this out, you're really using inductive reasoning because you're looking at this pattern and sort of trying to generalize it and figure out what's going on in order to predict something that's going to happen in the future in the pattern. So we could just keep counting out. We could add to the, our, our sequence 12, 14, 16, and keep going until we get to the 19th number or the 19th term. Or we could try to figure out what's a rule that sort of describes what's going on. If this is the first term and this is the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, etc., what you should notice is all the terms in our sequence are even numbers, and they're all just the term number times by 2. So in other words, if I went out here to the nth number, then that would be the term value would be 2n. 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 2 is 6, 4 times 2 is 8, 5 times 2 is 10, etc. Okay, so the number that it is in the sequence, if you times that by 2, you'll get the actual value for the number. So if we want to figure out the 19th term in the sequence, we could just do 19 times 2, because I know by the time I get to 19, then I would just times that by 2 to get the value. So 19 times 2 is 38, so that would be the 19th term in the pattern. So that's using inductive reasoning because we had to sort of figure out what a rule would be that would work. All we were given was just a pattern to start with, and that's how we figured out our conclusion was just based on the pattern. So basically anytime you're not using a given formula or a specific rule to come up with your answer, then you're probably using inductive reasoning. If you're going based on examples and patterns, that's inductive reasoning.